Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to Salesforce. In this video, we are going to talk about data modeling in Salesforce Data Cloud. First of all, we need to understand some of the terms that we are going to use throughout this video. So these terms, as you can see here, these are called data source objects, data lake objects and data model objects. So basically in these three types of objects, the data is organized in Salesforce Data Cloud. First of all, if we talk about data source objects, these are the original data sources that you have like a CSV file. Then comes the data lake objects. These are the objects where actually the data is stored in Salesforce Data Cloud. And the file format it uh, is stores in as the park files. Then comes the data model objects, which is basically kind of views that we have in data cloud like you can relate these data model objects as the objects in your salesforce crm as well as data extensions in your salesforce marketing cloud now let's move on to the basic uh, architecture or the basic uh, uh, yes the uh, basic architecture which is basically works behind the scenes in uh, data cloud so as you can see uh, we are using all of these three here uh, there is DSO data source object, there is DLO data lake object and finally there is DMO data model object. So initially you have your data as a data source object. Okay, then you map this data in the Salesforce data cloud. So when you map this data, you map it to data model object and behind the scenes it is basically stored in the data lake objects. Okay. So as you can see how uh, this mapping is done, DSOs are related to uh, via data mapping to DMOs and behind the scenes DLOs are working, data lake objects are working. Okay, now let's move on to uh, how it works this mapping. So you would be having this kind of uh, uh, console in da uh, data cloud to map your source data with the data model objects. As you can see here, one of the object is being used, which is individual object that represents uh, a particular person. Okay. Now let's move on to the some of the required mappings that uh, are necessary for your data cloud to generate some value. So these mappings you can see here, these are all of, all of these are the data model objects, individual contact point address, contact point phone, contact point email, contact point app, contact point social, as well as party identification. If we talk about what individual or what each data model object represents, then individual represents a one person, then contact point address represents the addresses of that person. As you can see, it has one to many relationship. That means one person can have multiple addresses. Then similarly for the phone and email. So one person can have multiple emails as well as multiple phone numbers. Then comes the contact point app that talks about the how much, how many applications are there this uh, uh, person is having. Then comes the social, social accounts information of the person that can also be one to many. Okay. Then come last as the party identification that represents any third party uh, identification or any third party relation with this individual person. It could also be many uh, identifications a person can have. So that is why one to many relationship you are seeing here. So that is how basically. Uh, <coughs> The data modeling happens in Salesforce Data Cloud. You have your source uh, data and then you map it to the data model objects based on uh, what kind of data you have. If you have the profile data, you can obviously go for the individual object. If you have some sort of engagement data, then you can respectively use some uh, other data model object or even you can create your custom data model object. Okay, so that's all we are going to talk about in this video. Thanks for watching.